The second all-private astronaut mission to the space station, completing the set of tiny severe weather trackers, and a robotic explorer with a twist. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On May 21st, a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft launched from our Kennedy Space Center on Axiom Mission 2, the second all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. The four-person crew, commanded by former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, is scheduled to spend several days conducting research, outreach, and commercial activities on the space station. The final two CubeSats for our Tropics mission launched from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand on May 26th. The small satellites will join two other identical spacecraft that launched to orbit earlier this month. All four will fly as a constellation in a unique low Earth orbit that will allow them to observe tropical cyclones, including hurricanes and typhoons, more often than what is possible with current weather satellites. A team in our Jet Propulsion Laboratory is creating and testing a snake-like robot called EELS, short for Exobiology Extant Life Surveyor. The self-propelled autonomous robot is being developed to go where other robots can't go. Although it was inspired by a desire to look for signs of life in the subsurface ocean on Saturn's icy moon Enceladus, EELS is not currently part of any NASA mission. On May 23rd, our Stennis Space Center conducted a hot fire test of an RS-25 rocket engine. It was the eighth hot fire of the current 12 test series to certify production of new RS-25s. Four of the engines will help power our Space Launch System rocket on future Artemis missions to the moon. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.